I feel like the biggest thing that insurance agents struggle with specifically is closing the deal. You yeah. are one of the best closers on the planet. How can you help others become the exact same thing right now? Well, um, you remember the famous story of the, the uh, man on the streets of um, New York and he asked the hippie, he said, uh, he says, uh, how do I uh, get to Carnegie Hall? Remember that? Yes. And, and the answer is practice, man, practice. Yes. And the answer is practice, man, practice. The reason you are where you are today is practice. You learn it, learn and do, learn and do, learn and do. Just practice over and over. And you can learn anything. Now, you may not become uh, a genius, uh, but you can learn any subject. You, you, you are a learning machine. You just, you automatically learn, you absorb new material. And uh, so therefore I say, well, I want to be good at it. First thing I do is I'll get a book. I have, uh, I was reading about uh, having uh, books on uh, Amazon and that you could actually write your own book and you could put it on Amazon. So I told people, you know, you can write your own book. And, and uh, then I realized I had lots of books on Amazon, but they were all put on there by publishers. And so I said, okay, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write my own book. I'm going to follow the process of writing a book and putting it on Amazon. And so I looked onto Amazon, and there are several free books. There are 30, 40, 50, 60 pages on how to write a book on Amazon. And, and you, you, you could just, after the end of our conversation here, just go to Amazon and just put in um, how to write a book, and they'll give you several different choices. Now, and if you if they sell you the book, the book is going to be five dollars, four dollars. They're not not very expensive at all. So I just got three or four books, and I read them through, and I learned how to write a book, and I wrote a book, and I said, "What book would I write?" And I said, "I'll write a book on closing sales." And so I, I so I wrote a book. I think it's I think it's called Close That Sale, and it's five dollars and ninety nine cents. Yeah, and. Uh, and uh, so uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm think, I, I think I sold it as a Kindle book, but I don't recall. And I have my, uh, my creative person. I said, I want to get this book onto uh, Amazon. And she said, okay. And she familiarized herself with the instructions. It's like a recipe, just a little recipe, follow the recipe. And um, so we put it up there and it's called Close That Sale. And it's the 24 sales closing techniques that I started off with many years ago. Uh, it was interesting. Um, I started speaking in 1981, which was, it was, which was at the depths of a major recession. And uh, I uh, had to get people in the room. And I figured, how can I get people in the room? And I said, well, I could do a seminar uh, on, on closing sales. That's what everybody wants to know. The, the one thing that salespeople want to know. So I put an ad in the paper and it's called uh, 24 uh, Techniques for Closing the Sale. And I charged $95 for the seminar, three hours in the evening, seven to 10. And um, I had, I was really nervous uh, because I had uh, never done a seminar like this before. And 100 people came to my first seminar. I put an ad in the paper, 100 people came. And I, I guaranteed it. I said, if you're not happy for any reason, have your money back. And that was my starting, starting you know, my kickoff in uh, speaking, professional speaking. And uh, I had, I think about 95, yeah, 9,500 people in my first seminar. And what I did is I put together a really nice booklet on closing the sale. But, it's, but it was all the things that you have to do before you close the sale. It had 24 techniques, but the first, the first thing you had to do is you had to make sure you're speaking to the right person, um, qualifying. You had to be sure that they understood the value of the offering. You had to be sure that you understood what they needed and so on. And then you had to get them to the point where they were ready to uh, buy. And then here's diff here's 24 different ways that you can ask for the sale. And, and, and you'll notice that there's no pressure. There's no tricks. There's no uh, ways to uh, force people to buy. Everything is really low pressure, no pressure friendly. And... Um, that was my starting point. That's my, my kickoff in professional selling. And uh, 
I had never written a book. I certainly learned a lot about it and I had lots of information. So uh, if anybody wants to learn how to close a sale, you just go to Amazon and there it is. I think it's five ninety nine. dollars uh, But here's the wonderful thing that I discovered is one of the major reasons why people are afraid of prospecting is because so often they get rejected at the end of the presentation. Yeah. So if they know that they're going to get rejected at the end of the presentation, they don't even make go and make calls in the first place. Yeah. They say, why, why should I make? If I told you, I um, I just came up with this when I was speaking to a huge audience, uh, this one liner. And I said, if uh, your company uh, hired a marketing specialist company and they could go and interview and they could identify 100 people who would buy today if you contacted them. Mm -hmm. And here's the list. It's a specialized list. It's for you. And every one of these people will buy if you contact them today. But the the, the list is only good from nine to five. Mm. After that, the list expires. All right. So so here's my question to you. If you got this list the night before, what would you do the next day? What would you do the next day? Yeah, you dial Well, I I get up early and I'd hit it. As soon as nine o'clock, almost like a horse in a race, jing is I'd hit it and I started moving. I said, would you take time to drink coffee and, and talk with your friends and read the newspaper and then go for lunch and BS and all of this stuff? What would you do? You'd be moving as fast as you could because every person you spoke to is going to buy. Every person you spoke to is going to buy. And so you just keep moving as fast as you can. I said, well, and... That at the end of the day, if you, you're not going to get to 100 people, but you're, you're certainly get, get to a lot of people. So from now on, imagine that. Imagine everybody you speak to is going to buy. So therefore, you spend every single minute getting face to face with people. And with that confidence, that feeling that, wow, if I get face to face with these, and you, you'll find that one out of 10 people will buy in any market. One out of 10 people will buy. So therefore, what you do is you may decide uh, you're going to get in front of as many people as possible and one in 10 will buy. Just keep moving as fast as you can. If they don't buy, you say, thank you very much. Have a good day. Wonderful thing. Here's my card. Give me a call if I can uh, be of any assistance to you and get to the next one. Get to the next one. Because one of 10 is going to buy. So keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep talking to people. And, and, uh, and you're going to make sales one out of 10, virtually guaranteed in the worst market of all with the worst product with the worst skills, you're going to make sales one out of 10 times. And so when you have that attitude, is just the, just the law, it's called the law of probabilities. The law of probability says that the one out of 10 people you speak to, if you have a little bit of intelligence, um, will buy. So therefore, just get up and start moving first thing in the morning and don't stop. Keep moving. And here's the most wonderful thing I say, if, um, if you call more and more uh, on more and more people, what happens to your skill level? What happens to your skill? Yes, exactly. Your skill level goes up. You get better and better uh, at calling on people. And when you get better and better, you make more sales. When you make more sales, you have more confidence. When you make more confidence, you, you want to make more sales. And pretty soon, you can hardly wait. And the wonderful thing is the more you call on people, the better you get. The better you get, the happier you are. The better you get, the happier you are, the more sales you make, the more money you make, and so on. It's, this, is, this is just simply the way that you program your mind. And all the best salespeople do this, is they just smile. person says, no, I don't want it, don't need it. You say, well, thank you very much for your time. You have a wonderful day. And if I can be of any service to you, please give me a call. And uh, keep moving, keep moving. And... Um, that's the attitude that you have to have to be successful. So good. So good. Mr. Tracy, I've taken up a t uh, probably too much of your time, but I'm gracious for everything that you've done with us. Thank you so much for sharing today with 8% Nation. Well, I appreciate you calling me and giving me the opportunity to speak to your friends. And I, uh, I'm really happy to meet you and see you and we will work together again. 
I hope so, buddy. Thank you so much. Also, those that are watching, make sure you go to Amazon and grab. I'm going right now after to grab Close That Sell by Mr. Tracy. Thank you so much. You've been an unbelievable influence in my life and so many. And thank you so much for being on today. Thank you very much, Cody. See you. Talk to you again. Yes, sir. You too. Thank you guys for watching. Closing that cell and you are unstoppable. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Bye bye, my friend. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. Here's what I want to leave you with. Okay, before we go, I want to leave you with my eight rules to 8%. I want to guarantee that you are a part of the 8% forever, right? Like if I look back over the last decade, Here's the eight rules.